Hey guys, it's Steven here, back with another video. Yes, of course, I am wearing my Christmas pajamas still, and I will until that tree next to me has to go down as well, because it's absolutely delightful. But anyway, hope you had a good Christmas, and you're looking forward to your new year and all that kind of stuff. But today, I'm going to be talking about a player that Manchester City have reportedly signed called Dario Sarmiento. Now, of course, you probably haven't heard of him. I don't blame you at all. He's a 17-year-old winger that we signed from Estudiantes. Now, of course, Manchester City, once again, haven't announced this formally, of course, because they don't really tend to announce these City Football Group signings formally, but everything seems to point to this being done. Now, this has come from uh, El Dia de la Plata, I think I pronounced that correctly, via Sports Witness, and Fabrizio Romano has been tweeting about how City have uh, nearly done this as well for some time now. So I think it's safe to say that this is basically done now. We see City sign so many of these young players that we kind of just have to trust the sources when it happens, because they're not all announced publicly. But personally, I do think this one is pretty much done. So today, I'm going to talk through the player and try and decide what what kind of player have we got? Is he someone that we can look forward to hopefully in the future? Or is he another player that will kind of disappear like the likes of Marlos Moreno into the ether and never be heard of again? Obviously, we don't know that. But I'm going to give this guy the, uh, the benefit of the doubt for now because he is a very, very talented young player. That much for certain. In terms of who he is, well... He's 17, he only turned 17 in March, so he turns 18 next March, of course. Uh, so he's very, very young still, but he has been playing rel relatively regularly for Estudiantes, and everything about him does basically look like a mini Messi kind of clone stylistically. Now, of course, there are many, many Messis across the world, and rarely any. Probably no one will ever lift up to the heights of possibly the greatest footballer of all time in Messi. But we can't really deny that this kid is very, very talented. Now, put up some footage on screen. Fingers crossed the video doesn't get taken down. Um, so you can see the way that he plays. He has got a massive reputation already in Argentina. And it does make an awful lot of sense that City are getting... Um, a very talented under-18 winger in before Brexit changes, uh, basically transfer laws and all that kind of stuff, which means under-18s won't be able to come to England. Uh, so basically, it makes sense that City will sweep up players like this now before the law changes, basically. Do not be surprised to see City sign even more under-18s from the uh, overseas sorry, to really spread the net and essentially... Uh, hedge their bets on players that could one day be absolutely top class. Hence why we've seen like Stevanovic, Izakabore, Jan Kuto, and people like that coming recently. And there will be more. I guarantee there will be more before the rules all change. Now, obviously, the question mark at some point will be, will any of these actually make it? We don't know, of course. We don't know. But surely at some point, in terms of sheer numbers and logic and probability, one has to make it. And this kid, Sarmiento, has as good as chance as anyone. Now, the best thing, uh, the most interesting thing for me is that uh, Alejandro Sabella is an Estudiantes legend. He's one of their most famous players, a very successful player. And apparently, he kneels to no one at Estudiantes. But when the legendary coach approached the club's new talent, Sarmiento, for the first time, he felt obliged to back how the knee in the youngster's presence. I'm reading this from Goal.com, by the way. That's yeah, fascinating, basically. He actually bowed down to the, uh, the young player. Um, so basically, Sarmiento said, Sabella came and asked me if I was Sarmiento. I said yes, and he knelt down. He said I was going to be a star, but I need to be calm and live in the present. I was nervous. I couldn't believe it. I swear my legs were shaking. I didn't know what to stay to stay to say I still get nervous when I tell the story and imagine that moment Sabella had previously apparently got hallelujah when he saw him play because he reminded him so much of Messi apparently he was one of the ones who once coached Messi as well so he knows a thing or two of what he's talking about in terms of his background he made his debut at the age of 16 years and six months and six days so he was very very young and it was Gabriel Melito the ex-Barcelona defender that gave him his debut as well um so he's very highly rated across and you can see by his style of play in general that is obviously incredibly comfortable technically. Now, we've all seen loads of plays like this, but we can't deny that grace he has on the ball. He seems very tenacious. He, of course, too, does have a good bear burst of pace. He's small, but not too small, I would say. He's kind of like normally small for a winger these days. You know, that five foot seven kind of height where obviously <clears throat> he's small to get away from people, low center of gravity, but not too small that he can just lean on in and push him down. Personally, I've always felt that Brahim Diaz has that problem where he's too small so players can just lean on his shoulders and push him down and even though Sarmiento is small he doesn't feel like that's going to be a massive problem for him personally and he does obviously have that darting pace which is very useful to getting past defenders as you've seen on screen so many times already by now and uh, if the footage isn't there by the way it's because I got a copyright claim and took it down so I didn't get in trouble which would also make an awful lot of sense um but he can clearly sell you can clearly tell that this guy is very very technical he's your prototype right winger cut 
puts in on his left foot that can dribble past people. And of course, the comparisons to Messi are ridiculous because he was already one of the best players in the world by 18, 19 years old. Um, but I think it's very obvious that Sarmiento has got an immense amount of talent. And you can clearly see by his style as well that he's very hard working. He seems to take football very professionally. And you can see already that he has a, a very natural grace, natural elegance to his play, which I really like darting in from the right hand side. And even though the level isn't as obviously high as most European leagues, it still takes some amount of ability to be able to do that to senior professionals. And surely, surely, uh, if he makes an impression wherever he ends up on loan, and I think it's pretty obvious he will end up loan, by the way, because obviously he enjoys Man City in the summer. Um, he's not going to hang around. He could do, but he feels very unlikely. And if he makes an impression out on loan, then maybe he could be one to get the chance. Now, of course, the precautionary tale is that Patrick Roberts also looks very skillful and a very similar type of player. And I think it's fair to say his career hasn't really gone as planned. It's weird, Patrick Roberts, because he was very talented. And I feel like after that first loan at Celtic, he could have came back or gone to a better loan, but he hung around a little bit too long over there. But anyway, we were hoping that Sarmiento is the one to break the mould. Now, of course, that could also be Stefanovic, the very skillful winger that we signed. Was he from Partizan Belgrade? Can't remember if it was from them. Or is it Gabor, the fullback? Or it could be Jan Kuto. He started to get some game time alone at Girona. It could be any number of these players. But surely at some point, one is going to have to break the mould and become a star. You would hope so. And Sarmiento is another example of Manchester City signing a very talented young player for essentially nothing. I think it's like seven or eight million or something like that. Um, let me just double check the fees that have been mentioned. I'm pretty certain it is that cheap. Um, yeah, the two clubs have agreed a six million euro deal, which includes a 20% capital gain on a few future sale, uh, which is basically nothing. Genuinely nothing. We might end up paying around 12 million euros using some deadlines and clauses. It's, it's essentially uh, it's peanuts for us, given the potential that this kid has and how good he could become. Of course, there's no guarantee as ever, but it does make an awful lot of sense. Now, it could be that we never hear of this guy again, but fingers crossed we do. I do like his style of play. I can't deny that it's exciting to watch, but it's a big, big leap from the, the uh, Argentine Premier League to the Premier League and playing for one of the best clubs in world football in Manchester City. But hopefully, hopefully he's the one to break the mould. Let me know down in the comments what you make of this lad. I do like his style. He clearly is a quite a mature player for his age based off the clips that we're seeing now. Obviously, it's only based off YouTube. There might be another compilation. Someone on the internet have given the ball away constantly, but we can only judge of what we've seen so far on the internet of this guy. He looks very, very promising. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, get me to 50k. Have a wonderful new year and we'll see you tomorrow.